what we want to do is to take this walk and everything that we've learned from it and all the resonances and all the connections and take it to Germany and walk the actual route that ex Esther walked from the slave labour camp into Belsen 71 years after she was forced to do so. And what we want to do is make all the resonances and all the echoes and all the connections with the refugees that are walking across Europe right now. And we can only do that with your help. It's about my mother, who, by the skin of her teeth, as she describes it, survived. And her survival is my life. We walked this route back in April, on the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Belsen. We walked at a time of our choosing, to a place of our choosing in honour of Esther and in solidarity with all those who have no choice, who had no choice and some of whom are still walking across Europe right now. My mother is 87 now, still with us, so pleased that we're doing this and wishes she could walk with us too. Please help us realise this project in Germany and enable us to tell her story, to remember her story and the story of all of those others who survived and those who did not. I, you know, my mother held me as a baby and I was the first born and said she cried all the time when she held me uh, because she was so happy but she could never believe that she could, her body would work. I think I said this to some of you yesterday, her body would work and she'd ever produce a baby. Um, realize it in Germany we'll be taking part in a really important process of reconciliation of making sense of our past coming from England of German people's past and perhaps trying to spread that kind of spirit of, of love and reconciliation and truth-telling that Esther talks about in her testimony. 